So we had been in the same public park for 30 years, and we loved it there. It's a great location. It's a beautiful park. The uh, venue itself was um, deteriorating, and as of last year, got to the point where it should not be habitable. I mean, it is inhabitable. <laughs> it's not a safe place anymore. So um, in 2013, when we did Midsummer Night's Dream for our 25th anniversary season, the guy playing bottom is a placemaker and a national consultant, and he was involved in planning one city. So back in 2013, he said, hey, you know, if you ever, for whatever reason, need to leave the park, we're building an amphitheater right across the connector bridge. And I'm like, we'll never leave Centennial Park. Why would we leave? So last year, at the end of our run, and when Park said they had no funding to fix up that band shell, he was the first person I called and said, so what about One City? And he said, I'll set you up. And we met with them. Um, it's brand new over there, still in development, obviously. Lots and lots more to be built. But that amphitheater is, has power, accessibility. It seats about 800, which is slightly smaller than our space at um, at Centennial, but 800 is a good crowd for, I mean, it's, it's kind of, some nights we get more than that. We haven't yet this run. We'll see what happens this coming Saturday, our last Saturday in Nashville. <clears throat> but um, they've been awesome to work with, great partners. And, and I feel like we are fulfilling a large part of their mission that they were, they were searching for, which was culture. So they have wellness and they have li life, work, play, um, as in, you know, working out in the morning and yoga in the green, but they didn't really have any arts, much arts going on. So, so it's fun. And now, you know, many thousands more people know where one city is so they can have more festivals and fairs on their green, which is great.